course baby Coco is with us but no we don't have the puppies just Coco let's go is it gonna rain Siri said it's not going to rain. Let me just pour that in a second. No, Siri said it's not going to rain. So why are you saying that it will rain? This is never accurate. Right. I didn't ask Alexa. Alexa probably give me like a hundred word essay on rain. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a background why we have this. This is actually from Palm Sunday last year. So one of the traditions in the Philippines, from what I know as Christians, is that if you put your palm after the mass, wherever you put it, it has to stay there for a year. And unfortunately, that time we were going somewhere, so I had place this over here so I couldn't remove it until the next palm day so it has been here for almost a year and then next week oh no yeah next week is Ash Wednesday don't forget sweetheart so I will be trying to make sure it's not on the way but here you go and our baby Coco is feeling better. He has not coughed at all this afternoon. So it's either the Claritin is working or the outside exposure is giving some type of a relief for him. Right, Coco? Yeah, I love you, baby. So in the last video, if you guys have watched it, if not, go ahead and go and watch it. But I did not give you guys any information in regards to this road. This is called the South Carpenter Road and I used to live here. That is my parents' house over there. And I actually grew up in this house over here, just of two houses down from my parents now. And this is not the first home that we had prior to um, living there but we were in Hickory Hill subdivision up until 1999 no 97 September of 97 so um, just before uh, school time we actually moved to South Carpenter there for about two years before we moved to where did we go then before we moved to Dubai so it was like September of 97 and then we left September of 99 and we headed to Dubai and then yeah I think we sold it in 99 and then my parents bought um, the house that they are in now that is actually Dr. Hate's home and their children grew up there so it has it was like 2004 when they bought it from the Hate's and they've lived there since well back and forth because they were still in Dubai and this house over here is like the mansion it's like you I think it was the Fords, um, the Titusville that used to own the Ford Lincoln Mercury back in the 90s, we used to live in there. Look, that one is like um, South Cape. No? So it has enhanced since then, expanded. This subdivision called the South Carpenter State is actually new also. It just finished um, their last home, would you say last year or this year? Last year, just about. There may be one house free there, I think now. It's mostly done. Mostly done. 
and then Fox Lake is over there so as you can Fox Lake Road there is actually a park that's a Fox Lake Park over there all the way towards the end so this is our normal swear do they say route or route That's why I get confused because in Dubai we call it route and then over here they call it route. So anyway, so this is the normal route or way we take when we head down to um, Starbucks. But we are not going to Starbucks. We are actually going to Five Below to get puppy pads and then we're going to go to Well, we were going to try to quietly leave because this baby was sleeping, but just before I could close the door quietly of our bedroom, he kind of woke up and decided to just run towards the door. So he is with us now. This is another, uh, this is the same route that we go with, same, I keep saying, using the word route instead of route, anyway. Well, uh, for Walmart, Denny's, Home Depot, Lowe's, what am I, Aldi, and Starbucks. So, we used to go to Aldi a lot back in the days, that's where we would go for groceries, and, um, was it save a lot? Yeah. Save a lot as well. We kind of top, but we still go to Aldi once in a while. There's a lot of things that I like in Aldi, especially like the German products, like chocolate, German chocolates. And they always have ripe mango in Aldi. So I like that as well. And I also like their sometimes they have a lot of other products but when you see a product in Aldi and you like it you'll have to actually buy it right away because you're not sure if it will still be there the next time you visit Aldi and sometimes they discontinue some stuff why do they do that uh, special buys I guess yeah. what do you mean they buy stuff but they don't buy stuff all the time yeah. So that is the mini tour of our normal route route going this side of town. The other side of town is where Publix, Walgreens, and where else do we go that side? The crossroad is that side as well. There's not much of that. Tracks are Are we getting dog food and tractor supply or are we getting it in Walmart? Excuse me. Excuse me, tomorrow? Okay. Oh, we can get it in Walmart. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to wear extra supply. Just get it down here or right down here at Walmart for the Lakes area. Okay. So, well, I know I've got a dog with us. Dang So, uh, oh, yeah. Well, we have the, no, stroller. They don't, they don't stop you. I mean, if they will, I will all say, well, there's so many dogs out there. Always go in and out. There's the Home Depot, guys. And 
if you guys could see that's Dennis over there with Ramada Hotel and the Starbucks over there and across like not across but just a little bit over there is also Cracker Barrel and um, that's also where we go for great outdoors for Blue Heron and behind Ramada Hotel and um, Dennis is where Lowe's and down over that side over there is Aldi and now we also have Waffle House you want to say something about Waffle House? You know, my, uh, my former boss would never get a Waffle House because he, he walked in there just after there was a homicide and there was a dead body laying on the floor so he never, he never, he's never been back to Waffle House since seen that and then there's McDonald's. Your favorite, sweetheart? No. No? Just you used to eat McDonald's. No, no, no. We haven't had McDonald's in a while. We haven't had any. Uh, well, I would. That's the best thing. My know. school kids, field trip Friday. It's a Thursday, whatever. Field trip Friday is when all the kids get nasty usually. Is it every Friday? Every Friday. Oh. Uh, it's, a, it's 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 complete H E L L for employees, and they hate it over at the business center. We need to go over there and help out. So. Um. Well, it's not Friday. Yeah, it's maybe getting them ready and uh, cleaning them out or something. I don't think they're passengers on. Them. No, there was. Unless they unless they do like seniors on on Thursdays. It was all little kids on Fridays. Oh. Guys, we're, this is also where Petco, Target, Marshalls, and Five Below, and K Jewelers, and is the ear thing in here? What? The ear thing. What? <clears throat> oh no, it's not the ear thingy. It's it's the uh, no. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> It's the ear thing, sweetheart. See, miracle ear. What? <laughs> You're just gonna go down. I got my hearing aid from five below. I can hear perfectly. You can just grab it over there. There's a blue, um, wait, puppy pads. I was oh. thinking of pu um, dog bed anyway. You're just gonna go, right? Mm -hmm. so just put, just put the pads, right? Yeah. Okay, card. Mm -hmm. Green. Okay. I'll be back. He'll be back, baby. Where's Daddy? I love you, baby. Daddy will be back. Just getting some puppy pads, okay? We'll have some Panda Express. What do you want? I'll get you a chicken, chicken teriyaki without the sauce, okay? Yes. You like that? Yeah. Love you. You're so handsome. You're so handsome. Mommy has to clean the car. Take get the over there. A salubo. A puppy pad. Hmm. Mm, people with dogs. Stinky dog did do. That's not a pasalubo. Oh, I got a. It's a bunny. Wait, are they preparing for Easter? Yeah, they don't all the Easter stuff in it, right? Now. Wait, but what about Valentine's Day? They can't escape on Valentine's Day. They 
I had that in his hand with his pipe, but I think I was sitting out there, you know. Now we are heading to... Where, sweetheart? Mm. Panda Express. Be nice. Coco, what's your oh. order? Oh, I did not get that in the camera. Mm -hmm. What was that? St. Nessus. That little area over there also have like nails, urgent care, the um, smoothie place is also there. They have Humpa Valley, which is a pizza place, T-Mobile, GameStop, and of course, Panda Express, which we are heading for dinner. So they have the seating area over there. Do you want me to just go and you sit with Coco? Give me a bowl. A what? Give me a bowl or something like that. Okay. They don't have the Tesla charger here anymore. They used to over here on that side. This is his teriyaki. If you want to just place it down. Oh, 
how'd you do that? Because you're on the way. Good job, baby. Now my turn. Oh my gosh, look at the hair. Thank you. Look <laughs> at my hair. Thank you. You're welcome. Coco, did you say thank you to Daddy? Do you like your food? Look at my hair, sweetheart. Do you want my hair like this on the ceremony or you want it down? What did you say? Stop at the gate of Nassau. Stop at the gate of Nassau. But this is also another way to go to Orlando and Coco. Oh, but there's another Orlando in 407 over there. over there when this is over there behind that is Home Depot and that's the road that we went to to go um, five below heading to Petco Target and Marshall so you have a very long nose like a pointy nose can I make my nose pointy no, to get clean this car. Look at that traffic. Mm -hmm. Just get off work time, can I? If you get off work early, you have to get in this way again. Yeah. Yeah. Yellow car, yellow car. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There's a school bus. Didn't you drive a school bus? Yeah, didn't look anything like that. In, wait, where did you drive? In England. And they're, very, they're very different in England. What color is the school bus there? They can be any color you want. They, it's just a normal bus and they put a sticker in the window saying school bus. Those school bus there. Like over here, if you go to a private school, there's no school bus. In the Philippines, even though it's a private school, there's still a school bus. How about in England? There's no school bus. 
unless it's special needs students which I, I was I was driving I was driving behavior behavioral problem students so the, so unless there's something special about the kid there's no school bus you have to get on a public public bus or you know or walk your walk your own way and I got first year of school I was high school I was taking the public buses and I eventually got sick of them so I just died just started walking to school every day and walking Why'd you there. get sick of this bus? Because you can't sit down, it's just so full, it's only standing room and you know, it's just, it's just miserable. The only time that I experienced riding a bus was in Greece and um, it's not actually a bus, it's a tram. You know what I mean? It's like the electric one that has that um, you go down from one town to another town. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And Metro. I kind of overcome my claustrophobic situation because I love riding the, the Metro there. It's like nice. How is the Metro in England to you? They don't really have it. I think a few cities have one on the ground. But it's mostly above ground stuff. I want to ride. I want to experience riding like the um, where you can sit down, have afternoon tea in a train. I seen that. I don't know if Well, yeah, they might have that. But well, down will probably know a few places and that. Uh, what you never had experience with it? Yeah, I think it went on one one, one time. Public transport's not not like that, you know. The, the fancy, the fancy long distance trains. There might be a snack bar or something you can go to. At least it used to be back in the day. But then local ones, it's just a bunch of seats, you know. Um, yeah, in Greece, I did not experience the fancy one, but I like the metro there, and I like the tram. They have kiosk there. What? Kiosk. Like on the street kiosk. Like those little stalls oh, of yeah. stores yeah, with they food. Yeah. You have goodies there. What's goodie? Goodie, the, um, the pastry. Oh yeah, yeah. There's places like that everywhere. Yeah, I kind of missed um, going to... Um, Here's the bridge again heading down to Fox Lake and this is also the same route that we took when we went downtown. Is the place that we went to, is that considered downtown or the other place is downtown? That's what I said. What do you call that side of town? I call that kind of south side side as well, yes. South that, that's side? That's south side as well as north side as well. North, north side as well slash Mims area. Most likewise from here. Well, this is still south though, because they call it South Carpenter. Right? Right? I'd say anywhere north of Fox Lake is north side as well. I would say it was Santa Fox Lake and Santa Titus Fox Lake is kind of in the middle. And now we are on the road. Uh, this is the North Carpenter.
all depends on the personality and characteristic of your neighbors to actually enjoy your place. They have golden retrievers in this house and they have small Maltese in this house and also um, Shih Tzu and they have what I don't know what kind of dog they have in this house. Chihuahua. There's a Chihuahua here. A whole bunch of dogs there. And then we have the... Chihuahua. No, what was that house? Um, husky. husky. No, Husky is there. And then a Chihuahua, Chihuahua here. Chihuahua is very popular then. And then we have Chihuahua in this house as well over there. In front of our house. And then we have Yorkie in this, uh, our neighbor. And a Maltese also. Shih Tzu also. And there goes our home.